Yes, hello everyone. As you can see from the title, my uh, presentation will be What Design Can Do For Shit. Um, it's interesting because my career started with kind of ecological sanitation where maybe uh, where you use your shit to compost, to produce um, food and as a fertilizer. So like thinking about uh, what Suzanne presented before, you can use your shit and produce your own food, produce your own clothes. But I'm not talking about this uh, today because then I also can talk about ours. I uh, want to uh, present you how my organization I'm working in, it's called WASH United. WASH stands for Water Sanitation and Hygiene, is dealing with the big taboo uh, of shit, of fecal, of excreta, and the big problem that we have in developing countries. Um, we talked a little bit of water before, and water is a really sexy topic. Uh, what you associate with water, also as a designer, is like it's fresh, it's uh, clean, uh, and so on. And uh, a lot of people work on water. There is a lot of problems in water, I know, but if you have those images, uh, which I take from uh, Charity Water, a very cool NGO in uh, America. You see all these nice pictures of refreshing water when you did a project with water, and that sells really well, no, isn't it? It's just fantastic. But if you look at the reality, it's, um, the problem lies not in the water, but the problem lies in the shit. Um, you talk about diarrhea, a killer of almost um, two million uh, people uh, a year. And diarrhea doesn't come from the water, but it, yeah, it comes from the water, but because the water is polluted through shit. And that's why you actually have to look at this. Um, and even worse, there are 2.6 billion people who don't have a proper way uh, to make their business and 2.6 billion people, that is just a sheer lot. Um, and out of those 2.6 billion people, there are maybe a million people who don't have a toilet at all. So um, I know everybody had their own experience with toilets. Um, you went to the worst toilet when you traveled, you saw that, but just think if there is no toilet at all where you, I mean, you go to the toilet three times a day, four times, six times. And there is no toilet, what to do? And, and this is something we work on, we're very committed to, but people hardly talk about uh, this problem because shit, excreta is a taboo. It becomes a little bit more sexy now and then, but it's a taboo because you just don't... When you think about, we had the presentation about um, the food, why it's dark, and it's creating a disgust, yes, because it's something unhealthy. When uh, Susan showed around the small piece, you smelled it, and everybody was saying like, ugh, and that's even worse with shit, because it's a natural reaction, but we need to talk about it. If we don't talk about this, if we don't talk about the 2.6 billion people, we're never going to solve that problem. So, I know it's before lunch, <laughs> um, and uh, I can make a, um, I will show you some pictures how it is. I show you pictures from India where there's the majority of people, it's actually close to 700 million people who don't have a proper toilet. Uh, it's 50% of the population. But there are other countries which don't have a big massive population like India. In Sub-Saharan Africa we have the same problem. So um, if you want to close your eyes now, you can. If those one with the strong stomach, they can have a look still. That's how it lives in us. It's like the wastewater treatment system. So yeah, 700 million people, 1,000 people, like 1,000 children die every day in India because of sanitation. And they're forced to defecate in the open, in the field, like this. This is an open defecation field, quite prominent. And yeah, maybe you've traveled to India and see along the railways people just shitting there. Oh, yeah, and this is the worst. Yeah, what I mean is, this is not a pleasant picture. If you compare it with water, this creates disgust. This is a smell. So how do you want to make toilets and this problem sexy? That's um, what we thought about. 
and what design can do. And it's not, it's not about the toilet structure. I'm an engineer. Uh, and I built this beautiful ecological toilet where you divert urine, you compost your feces, and so on. But I realized in the work, it's not to construct the right toilet, it's the, the problem is by people wanting to have a toilet. People understand why it's necessary to, to use a toilet. That's even the biggest, biggest, pro like this is the biggest challenge in our sector. Um, it has to do with culture, it has to do with taboos. And um, so even health messages doesn't work. If you go to the people and say, yeah, you have to use a toilet because your kid will die, people say, mm, yeah, okay. I mean, not okay, but um, they will be, it's not a motivation for them. It's other kind of motivation. And that's where I, we feel the design idea comes in. The, the design idea, how to make it more attractive, how to make it appealing, how to create an excitement around that theme that is so severe. So, how to create an excitement. And we thought there's one very essential thing where globally everybody is excited about, it's football. And uh, I know that's the German fans now, but I also have Dutch fans because I am in the Netherlands. And even if we win the European Cup this year, um, I think it's a, it's a global one. It's a, it's a global issue that everyone is excited about. How to make it attractive? Um, yes, here you see all the women. Um, is this attractive enough? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe you look into um, branding. What can you learn from branding, from big companies, how they market their products? And uh, just by way, we found also P. Cola. That's in Ghana. Um, of course, we don't want to produce P. Cola, but why does everybody uh, associate something like fresh? Why are there Coca-Cola everywhere out there in Africa? Why people still don't have a toilet? So. It's like a lot has to do with branding, making it sexy, making it attractive, and even also affordable. Um, what we can learn from brands also is that they work with stars. So Pepsi thinks about how we work with stars, and then they come with Didier Drogba, one of the big Chelsea players. Um, and it's like, it shows you, yeah, I can do it, etc. Um, and it works everywhere. So, can it work also with toilets? Um, I, now I took the nice pictures for those of one who didn't want to see the previous ones. So yes, it can, because that's what our approach is as Wash United. We take the star, <laughs> and here he is, Didier Drogba, and uh, he really holds the, uh, the toilet cup in his hands for us. And um, we're creating a whole message around it, like sanitation scores. And we have the club sign, which is the free goals. It's safe water, safe, uh, sanitation and hygiene for all. But it also works as a reminder and as a, as a really nice club thing. We work with African stars because our main work where we, uh, where we do, that we do is in Africa. So we try to feature find their most appealing stars. Like this is uh, the Kenyan star, McDonald Mariga. And um, we're playing with symbols and he is just the biggest star in Kenya uh, in football. Just recently I asked every taxi driver and um, they're a big fan. Um, we have also Burkina Faso, um, show the red card and inside of the red card you can see we're using the soap. So um, for schools, we always try to work with the association between football and safe sanitation. So if you don't use the toilet, you don't become a star in football. So everything that is like motivation, uh, especially for the kids, uh, to, to become a star. And then in the end, I also have other stars. <laughs> uh, also, I can say, uh, recently, um, he, um, the Prince of Holland, we call him Prince Poo, uh, please don't quote me, um, but he broke the royal record in a toilet bowl, uh, kicking on your, on your Queen's Day. 
Um, but we also have other, you, you just see um, Naren Robin from, and, and so also like stars, and we also have female stars. I don't feature them here, like at, from the uh, Women World Cup. So, and you can become a team member in that Wash United Club. So we created a game called the World Toilet Cup for schools, where people, where the kids have a brown ball, which symbolizes the shit. And it's, we have painted also flies on it. And the kids have to kick it in the hole. You see, like, there's a toilet ball on top and there's a squatting pan. And the message is, you, the shit needs to go into the hole. <laughs> and it's, it's, I mean, it doesn't even work only with kids. It works with, like, we have the minister for Uganda kicking the ball. We have Desmond Tutu kicking the ball. And it works with all ages and at all gender. It's fantastic. People queue up to play the World Toilet Cup. And then we have two other games, which is um, the blue ger germ game. So once you know where you have to put your feces, then you also need to lear learn how to wash your hands. But it's all like in a play atmosphere. It has to do with football. And it's strictly positive. And it's not to say, you have to, have to. So it's just like kids realize what is the challenge and also what is the benefit of doing this. And in the end, they become the member, the member in the cl club where also McDonald Mariga is, and um, yeah, and the, now they're happy, of course. <laughs> so uh, this is just what we've done. It's like we had uh, trained mainly in Africa, 30,000 people in, in, the, uh, in our Wash United club, um, and we reached through the media because big stars are attracting the media. So. How we work is at least we work with positive mod uh, messages, really. Uh, we engage role models and we, we also want to be a bit innovative in uh, not having just putting posters somewhere, but really come up with really nice designs also. If you look at, or I saw a lot of p uh, pictures in the sector which are extremely boring, but if you have DJ Drogba sitting in your toilet in front of you and showing you the sign, you're likely to look at that. And yeah, we want to create an engagement around it. Um, so let's look at India now. As I showed you the pictures, um, this is a bit forward looking. Uh, but as we said, we have to look at India with all the 700 million people who have a problem. Um, and India is also incredible because there are more mobile phones than toilets. And isn't this just a disaster, or is it, why, why does it come like this? So we have to, we'll see, and oh yeah, still another picture. He's just using his mobile phone while he openly defecates. Okay, switch it. So, <laughs> football doesn't work in India, but cricket does. I mean, cricket is crazy in India. Um, and we work with the same idea, and it's then called bowl out diarrhea. And we have the brother, brother Khans, um, who work for us, really famous. He's actually very handsome. <laughs> so, and then it's the same, it's the same message, actually. Uh, the other one which works in India is like Bollywood. And maybe you know, uh, it's Shah Rukh Khan. I saw the film, pretty bad. Um, but he's very engaged in also in water and sanitation, and that is my previous organization that Wash United now cooperates with. And Shari Khan is really an ambassador, and he's committed to change the situation, particularly of women in India, because that is their biggest problem, that they don't have a toilet, and they lose their dignity, and they don't know really where to go. We're creating a, a, the big Wash Yatra that is coming up in uh, September, September to November, around the Cricket World Cup, or Cricket Cup, which also then is the World, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a World Toilet Day, 19th of November. There's also World Hand Washing Day, so we all use this, and have a moving circus through uh, 13 towns, moving from Delhi to Mumbai. We have different tents, creating a really nice atmosphere, all working with Bollywood, with cricket, um, having sometimes, like, a toilet lab. For us, it's important that people, to break a taboo, people need to get close to products. People need to have the interaction, the emotional feeling. And the toilet 
the toilet lab will be people can paint their own pants and be creative and start loving their toilet. We have a hand washing lab because hand washing is actually the most effective method to uh, prevent diarrhea. 50% of more than 50% of all the deaths can be prevented just by simply wash the hands with soap. And um, this is actually what I have uh, after after lunch. Uh, I have a small workshop and everybody is free to join because we will launch a design challenge next week together with IDO, Quicksand, Hatchery Labs and eventually also the World Bank um, on designing a sexy, attractive hand washing station for a rural Indian household. So I'm going to show you some models and I'm looking forward for your creative ideas also to make it more attractive and not, I'm going back, just as, this is a little bit it's functional, but not attractive. So, um, yeah, I invite you all to um, my little workshop. <laughs> we call it Soap It Up, but uh, while we were brainstorming, we had Soap It Stop. Um, I like it for Dutch, but I don't think it works globally. <laughs> you find out more on our website. And that's actually my last slide. And next year when I come, I will talk about menstrual hygiene management, because that's an even bigger taboo. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure that um, the, the next wave of uh, cool projects will be shit-related projects, and uh, it's fantastic because designers love to say, oh, shit, shit here, and shit here. Now there is a purpose for it. But, um, you know, a lot of the work you were showing is work that deals with advocacy and education. Yeah. Of course, when you started the presentation, you talked about a problem that is, you know, some, in, in, in California they call it a gnarly problem, right? It's a problem so huge you don't know where to start. You're mm -hmm. talking about um, a billion people without access to toilets. And um, unfortunately, what, um, what comes across from uh, maybe some of the work you showed is that it seems like it's an education problem. It's a question of culture and not infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Of course, the two are very close together. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Uh, I have my microphone, yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, what? it seems a bit illogical that I now launch a design challenge on a hardware product while I was telling before it's more about the attitudinal right. change. Um, yeah, uh, in the sector, like water has made a lot of progress in sanitation. The problem was that people just built a toilet and donated them or governments, like in India, built toilets. And they were not used because, uh, as a toilet because people didn't understand the value or the toilet was suddenly nicer than their own house. So they used it as a storage room or like a chicken, chicken pen. And um, they didn't really understand um, what was the value. I mean, not everywhere, but in a majority of cases. So there was a shift in mindset that you don't have to work with subsidies, but rather with um, people really demanding sanitation um, and in, there's an approach that works quite well, it works with shame and disgust, but we believe at Wash United you need to work also with positive attribution and then, yeah, then comes the product in. So, and for me it's a choice of product, a range of products. So the, 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 the campaign is really to build demand yeah. and to build a certain understanding from the user base of what quality and yes. what kind of level of um, Usage and yes. quite a the golden, the, the dream toilet for, and then trying to work from the other side from the supply. Okay, so, so this is only one part of what you guys do. You yeah. also work on the supply. No, we we don't because I mean you can't. For example, I'm working in schools, mm -hmm. and you need massive money to build infrastructure, and this we don't do. We try to advocate and work with governments, uh, or advocate to governments that they spend, for example, money on school infrastructure. But uh, it works that people start to invest their own funds into step-by-step step increase their sanitation system at home. It does work. Okay, great. Thank you. 